Hi, welcome to Art Draw. Today we're going to draw Philip J. Fry from Futurama. So let's get in there at the top and let's do his hair first of all. So just around here, I'm just going to do a curve. So just like that, at the top of his head. It goes into a bit of a quiff. So there's like two sort of prongs up at the top here as it goes into that quiff. So I'm just going to continue this line. Just go up one, down, up again, and around up to there. Okay. Another little bit of hair comes out here and then a, a little bit more sort of downwards this way. So slight little angle and up and around and that's the ear. It's got two little bits of hair just popping out here. So just two little triangle sort of areas there, a bit like an M. And then link that up to the ear, the back of the hair like that. Then we can, we've got the ear now. Let's just, just do the inner ear. Just put a little so like a tiny little C there. And then we can just draw a line down a little bit like so. Uh, what we can do now, just, just pop his nose in. So about there, just put a little marker. Just bring it out like that. And we're just gonna draw an eye. So I'm gonna do a curve around that nose area. So just go around like this. And then let's do another circle just next to it like that. Do a couple of dots in the middle so it's looking straight at us like that cool join up here where his uh, forehead is to the hairline next up let's do uh, sort of like the lip and the mouth area so it's just going to come down from the nose out like that then bring it in and sort of curve it up so it's got a bit of a kind of a bit of a smile going on there let's do the part of his chin so just go down towards his neck, I'm just gonna go down like that, okay? Curve underneath there where his t-shirt would be. All right, I've got a jacket on, so I'm just gonna start maybe about here, do a line up and around where his collar would be there. Just continue that collar area around and up, and in like that, okay? It's got a bit of a slouch going on, so I'm just going to do the edge of where his sort of jacket and t-shirt would be here. Sort of slouches up like that and around where the collar would be again. Just join that up there. Then let's just do um, another line where that jacket would be. So just come out a bit there and just sort of continue the line up. Just can stop it there. Pop his arm in. It's got that kind of slouch. So just a bit of a curve where his shoulder is. And then if we pop a little line in here, okay, so his arm's going to come down to about there. The cuff of his jacket's about here, his hand's here. So let's just do a curve around down, bring it in, then sort of curve around and up here. So just like a curve like that, just got this sort of slouchy arm in. Do another little, little mini cuff area there. And then we can just do his hand there. So one, two, three fingers like that, okay? Then we can just come out where his, where his trousers are actually. Just put a line in here where his t-shirt would be. And then he's got kind of like slouchy legs, so they kind of bend around here. So I'm just gonna go and do a curve like this. And then on this side here, about just on there, that, that bit there, just do another curve out. Then we're just going to do a line in the middle, same sort of line again, curve and up, just like that, okay? Now we know where this arm is, so what I'm going to do is, I think the cuff's going to be around about there, so just do a line there, maybe like another little line just above it, so we've got the cuff of his jacket, and then we're just going to sort of do like a slouchy line up where his and shoulder up to there, okay? Uh, next we'll just pop in a couple of rounded lines like edges just to link his trousers up like that. And then we just got his uh, trainers to do. So he's got like chunky trainers on. I'm just gonna do the one towards his more, a bit, uh, this leg here first of all. Let's just do a line down, bring it around and then up. And then this one, same sort of thing, just come out, down and around like that. 
then what we've already got is like some chunky soles so just do a repeating line along the bottom there and then we'll do three chunky laces so one two three and one two three just got the hand there just going to do a little curve in just behind like that okay and there's also just a bit of detail just a little line here where the jacket sort of edges as well all right let's just do a little line in the background to sort of ground him then we can move on to the colors so first of all let's get a skin tone color just color his hands in like that and then let's color that head in as well so just take the pen and color around here that make it a bit more even there we go all around there just get that forehead in around the eye head. okay that's covering nicely now just get it around the ear a bit more just repeat over the hands just make it pop a little bit cool okay let's get a nice uh, sort of gingery color for his hair so let's color his hair in nice zingy color there we have great thing about these characters is they're quite flat colors so you don't need to put a lot of detail you don't put sort of bouncing light or shadowy color in it's sort of just very 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 solid color a nice sort of deep red necks for a jacket let's get in there Okay, next up, let's get a nice blue and we'll do those trousers. So, let's get the old pro marker and just go along the outline first of all. Bring it round and then we'll just block in that colour here, first this leg. So just do the sort of like soles of his trainers like that. And then what I'll do is just go back to the Sharpie and we'll just colour those trainers in a nice solid black. So it's going to grab that red again and just, just put a bit of colour in, show he's like standing somewhere. Okay, that's cool. And then just grab the blue and we've done Philip J. Fry from Futurama. Okay, thanks for watching Art Draw. Thank you, bye.